Love here and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness here on Fabulous Friday here in Connecticut. It is a gorgeous, a gorgeous winter day. It might get up into the low 40s. I'm going to hope, knock on wood, I'm hoping I can get out on the bike, believe it or not. I haven't been out in over a month and I missed the cardio so badly. As I told you, the stationary bike, eh, doesn't do that much for me. Anyway, with that said, you saw the thumbnail. Back to the basics articulation. Guys, so important. Now I know, uh, yeah Ralph, what you told us yesterday overblowing was no, so important. And relaxing the corners is so important. They're all so important. They get together, the synergy is, is just not to be believed. Not to be believed. You can't believe when it's really cooking why anybody would play any other way. Anyway, uh, I've not played a note. Let me honk a little bit and uh, we'll get to it. Articulation. Man, was that locked in and easy or what? about not warming up and not playing and all this sort of stuff yeah the double C's and the tone power and all is there the multiple thing it, it should all be there I didn't have to warm that up and it popped fast as stagers man anyway speaking of stagers and I put all these stagers pictures and all this sort of stuff the first half when I talk about articulation everybody thinks you know th this virtuosi thing and we'll get to that that's part of it okay but I am not talking about virtuoso articulations at the beginning. I'm talking about just run of the mill. Bum, 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 bum. It's got to be right or everything else is, is not going to work. Okay. Now, here's the deal. When you change your chop position, your chops and your tongue position and everything, if that's conventional way, if that's the teeth, everybody's doing this. Okay, not only is it going back and forth like a snake, okay, it is not getting past the teeth and into the tongue as we like to do it. Okay, now when you change that into this, that's the bottom lip, here's your tip of your tongue pressing into the soft inner red, and that tip of the tongue does never move. That is locked there, and you're Rocking it, thickening it, thickening it back and forth as to how high you go. But if this isn't moving, if the tip is not moving, you have to articulate in a different place. Have to. Okay? Now, it'll be back in towards the middle of the tongue. Now, Jerry used to do this. He used to literally take a pen and draw a circle. Somebody reminded me about that the other day. Was it you, Terry? I forgot. Now, <laughs> this was pre-COVID. I mean, that's really unsanitary. But if he had five, uh, five lessons that day and he's drawing a circle. Anyway. Anyway. Um, yes. Articulations. Guys, it has to be up farther on the lip. And it, tongue, and it amazes me to this day that not one of my students, of all the hundreds of thousands of students that I've had, that I've changed from this to this, not one of them has had a problem articulating in the different, I don't say a word about it, and they just articulate in a different spot. Now people ask me, is that right? Is it supposed to be up? So, yeah, that's right. But I don't say a word about it and nobody has a problem with it. It's amazing. A grandiose change like this and nobody has a problem. That is one of the reasons why I truly, truly believe, along with the, the spike in performance, that this is so easy that it has to be right. 
Okay. Now, this articulation point can be different for everybody. Okay. You have a different size tongue. It flexes differently when it's in the mouth. It flays differently. Now, also, if the tongue is here for low C and here for a double C, that articulation point may be completely different, depending on what register you're in. Don't sweat it. As long as the tone is pure and the notes pop, you're good. My articulation point stays in the same place, whether it's here or here. Okay? It doesn't have to for you. Now, also, as a teaching tool, I very often have, if the notes aren't popping right away, I very often have the student over-accentuate the pop. That it sounds like, every note sounds like a, a combustion, like Fort Sondo, every note. Sometimes I literally say these words. If it's an orchestra player that knows Petrushka, I say, play Petrushka like you're playing in Maynard's band. Okay, it's not musical, but it does point out exactly to the new student where the articulation is. Now, here's the thing. It still has to pop, even if you're playing the most delicate pianissimo, Ravel type, da 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 it's got to pop every single note. And there was nobody better than that. Nobody better than that in the history of trumpet than Maurice. And I put a little link down below. It's a Talamon Concerto in B flat. Guys, you'll see. It's, all you have to listen to is the first 20 bars and you get, the, you get the message. Okay? It's not that high. Okay? But even though it is delicate and refined and mezzo piano, mezzo forte in there, each note pops. It has a distinct beginning and end to the note. And not only that, if you listen, he's barely working at all, but the, the uh, projection from the pop note, that's where your compression is. I talked about compression yesterday. Pop, 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 pop. Okay? Now, here's the thing. We'll get to the virtuoso stuff. Stegers, Doc Schitzer, Liberati, Jules Levy, okay? Jerry was obsessed with Liberati last year and a half, two years of his life. Obsessed with it. The lib tongue and everything, you remember that? Guys, and that is the epitome of notes popping, okay? They're going faster than uh, the speed of light. Each note is very, very distinct, and you're not getting it with this. You're not getting it with this. Now, another thing, articulations, when you are locked in like this, and the tongue stays here, look at how little it has to move to get that articulation instead of this. It's so easy to make it go fast from this point. And each one of those guys that I mentioned, Stegers, blah, 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 each one of them, had to be tonguing this way. It could not nearly go that fast and not nearly the pop that you're getting. Now remember, this part is touching the lips. This is behind the tongue. It's not getting to the lips. You're not getting the pop. And I can hear it like that. And I'm not saying, you know, some of the orchestral guys and all that, so don't, don't do a nice job, but I can hear there is no pop. There's no compression at all. I can hear it. Herseth, Compression City. Short little guy. There he is now. Herseth calling. Anyway, guys, that's it. Let me take that call. Eat and drink your fruits and vegetables. Make sure every note you play pops from the middle of the tongue. Love you all.